नेक्स्ट इज फोर डोमिनंस बोथ द जीन्स डोंट राइट अगेन आई गिव यू नोट्स आफ्टर बोथ द जीन्स ऑफ द अलीज एक्सप्रेस देमसेल्फ इक्वली इन एफ वन हाइब्रिड बोथ द अलीज Okay, they are expressing equally. What happens in incomplete dominance? Both the alleles do not express equally, but here both will express equally. Yeah, not a chicken one. There's a buffalo one which has patches of red and this. Okay, why? In F2 generation, the phenotypic matches with the genotypic ratio. In F2 generation, the phenotypic ratio. matches with the genotypic ratio okay in f2 generation the phenotypic matches with the genotypic the alleles of a pair which are able to express themselves independently here the alleles will express themselves independently when present together they are expressing independently but they are together is called as codominant allele example in codominance is coat of cattle that red and white then the other example will be codominance in blood group a b and we have also we have blood group a we have blood group b and also we have blood group ab both are there <laughs> then codominance in mn blood group there is something called as mn blood group in humans only m blood group n blood group plus there is mn we'll see the example codominance in sickle cell anemia okay these are the examples now let's see the first one okay this is codominance a red flower and a white flower the petals are completely red and completely white in previous case that was incomplete dominance what you found what was the color of flower pink pink the color of the flower completely changed to See, but here there is both red shade as well as white shade now codominance in color coat of cattle gene r for red coat and gene w for white coat what we will get if we cross rr with ww rr with ww what you will get capital r capital w What you will get? Capital R, capital W, R R W W. Everywhere it will be R W R W R W R. So you will get R W. R W. The wrong color is a mixture of red and white. Okay, it is called as both, which has a color of both mixture of red and white, but separate patches. Okay, see here. White cross with red, you will get. Okay, it is brown, but it is red, huh? Return red, huh? Okay. So the roan will have color of red and brown, red and white. Okay, here see, this is roan R W. This is roan R W cross with one more roan. R W cross with R W will get roan. Pure red. pure red pure white and roan okay so rw when cross with rw rw cross with rw you will get rr rw 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 now they were saying the they were saying the phenotypic ratio is equal to the genotypic ratio yeah what is phenotype here what is the three different phenotype one is completely white one is completely red, red. the other one is roan mixture how many mixtures are there two mixtures two mixtures how many white are there how many red so what is the ratio one is to two one is to two is to one all about the genotype how many different types of combinations are there uh, three Three totally there are four combination but one is repeated total three so genotype what is the ratio one is to two is to one is to one 
So the genotype and phenotype ratio is same. Okay. Next one. Co-dominance in blood group. Co-dominance in blood group. ABO and MN blood groups are in examples. MN is newly discovered. Okay. So you know how you have your blood group. Okay, there is an antigen on the plasma membrane of the RBC on the plasma membrane, which is the outermost membrane or cell membrane, there will be antigen. What is your blood group? Oh, so no antigen. Okay. Okay. This type of sugar molecule is controlled by gene called as gene I. Okay. This sugar molecule is controlled by a gene I. Gene I has three alleles. Gene I will have three alleles. I A, I O, and I B. Blood group A, blood group O, and blood group B. Now I A will produce antigen A. If there is blood group A, it will produce antigen A. I B will produce antigen B. And I O, no antigen. No I O produce no antigen, no antigen. Okay. So ABO grouping is an example of, is also an example of multiple genes, which we will study in next, this class only. ABO is also an example of multiple genes and codominance. ABO. Now this is what is there. The genotype for blood group A, A blood group can be either, both can be AA, both the genes can be AA, or it can be a i. I o is, is also written as i z o. For b, it can be i b b or i b i o. For o, it is only one type. I o i o. It cannot have any other thing. For a b, it will both have a and b. Now these are the antigens. Okay, and and if a is the antigen. The antibody which is produced by A will be for B. Antigen which is produced, antigen is A, but the antibody, now your, your, your what? A. A. So in her body, there will be antibodies for B. In her body, there will be antibodies for B. If she is A group, there will be antibodies for B. Now what happens whenever I inject a B, B blood group? If I inject B blood group, B blood group will have which antigens? A. B blood group. Antigen. Ah, B, B antigen. B antigens. What is antigen? Any foreign thing. Okay, it is not required by the body. Any foreign thing. So whenever B antigen will go in her body, what antibodies are there in her body? B. So antibody and antigens will fight. So that's why it is not accepted. And then clot. <laughs> and then clot. Pearl, what is your blood group? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, uh, we yeah. also have antibodies now. We, huh? we have no antigen, but we have antibodies yeah. for all the other three blood groups now. Yeah. That's why we are not take, able to take any. O will have all the antigens, antibodies. Okay? O will have all the antibodies. So if any other blood group is injected in O, antibody O, uh, the antibodies and antigen will. Five. Next is co-dominance in sickle cell hemo hemoglobin. Sickle cell anemia is caused by gene called as hemoglobin S. S, HBS. Okay, S is for sickle cell. A normal allele will be HBA. Normally it is HB hemoglobin A. Normal hemoglobin. Person with HBA, HBA will be normal. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, this is normal. Huh? They will not die. Will they die of hemoglobin? Anemia? No. But HBA, HBS have both type of hemoglobin and they suffer from sickle trait. They will not die. They will suffer. They will not die. But if it is HBS, this is normal and this is sickle cell. Okay. So here you can see AS, AS. This is mixture. What is AS? Carrier. Like they are carrier. They can give the disease. They cannot have the disease. 
they will not get any they will not get much affected by the disease they will not die but if you do carrier with carrier you will get a a a a normal a s carrier a s carrier s s sickle cell he will die okay so there are chances like if uh, you have is when two couples are there and if one is carrier and the other one is also carrier there is one chance that the one fourth of the chances is that the child might die one fourth then polygenic inheritance or qualitative quantitative inheritance what is poly many many what is genic genes many genes but one character so polygenes means many genes influence one character now let's see <coughs> also called cumulative gene a single phenotypic character is governed by more than one pair of genes is called polygenic character <coughs> now see galton he was a biologist he predicted that height mental capability and skin color are inheritable okay height mental capability and skin color do you think there are only two different types of height in human beings there are many okay height can vary similarly mental capability is it like smart or dumb no they can be also average or different like color of the skin is it dark or light no there are different shades of color okay so color of a gene is the character which can be governed by many many genes similarly plant height is there only fixed height no they will have different range of height yield of the crop different, different. one fruit one plant will give little one can give more milk yielding in animals of cow one cow will give one liter the other one will give two liter third one can give three liter the other one can give half liter <clears throat> You see the skin color, height, and milk yielding. Now let's see skin color in men. This is presence of melanin pigment. You know no melanin pigment. Now you all tell me what will happen to the skin color if there is more melanin and less melanin. More melanin means it is dark. Less melanin melanin means it is white skin. Okay, so don't get confused. Like more melanin means. Yeah, means you have less melanin. Less melanin. Less melanin. Okay. So this melanin no is a protein. Melanin is a protein which is governed or which is controlled by three pairs of gene called A, B, C, all present on different position. Okay. Now see, each dominant gene have a fixed amount of melanin. Each dominant gene will produce a fix amount of melanin effect of dominant gene is additive how many genes are there three so if there are three melanin genes melanin produced by gene a will get added to melanin produced by gene b and will added to melanin produced by gene c, c. <clears throat> so it is additive melanin is uh, proportional to dominant gene what is this saying melanin proportional to dominant gene more the number of dominant genes more is the melanin how many uh, dominant gene can be there one see here three since there are three genes there will be three dominant genes okay total it will be six capital a capital a capital b capital b capital c capital c <coughs> six dominant genes capital a capital a capital b capital b capital c capital c so more melanin it will be darkest what can be the other option capital a small a capital b small b capital c small c what will be the color intermediate intermediate in between and the last option what is the last option Uh, small a, small a, small b, 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 small b,
no melanin it is called as albino okay. you have albino means even the skin color will be white we have some melanin that's why the skin color is black if it is albino no melanin even the eyebrow the eyelashes everything is white okay. see here See. Albino, Negro, and normal. Now this is how the genes are arranged. Okay, so how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, eight. Okay, this is how the genes are arranged. You see here. The chances can be A, B, C. All three, capital A, capital B, capital small c, A, small b, c, A, small b, small c. So different arrangement are there. When you cross, what you will get if both are capital? Yeah, everything will be capital. So it will be a negro, darkest. Then what you will get if both are small? Negro is black, no? But in public, you can't say it. No, we, can't, we don't say it. It's a black bad word. Bad word. Negro. Then here. If both are small, then it will be albino. And in between, there are different chances. Okay. So this is what you can get. Different types. One will be completely dark. One, one of them will become completely dark. Six will be slightly dark. Fifteen will be fair. Twenty will be more fair. Fifteen light. Six more light. And one. So on what it depends. How many dominant genes will be here? All will be capital. How many dominant genes will be here? No, no, proper, proper. First, it will be six dominant genes. Second, how many dominant genes? Five. And one recessive. Then, four, two recessive. Three dominant, three recessive. Two dominant, four recessive. One dominant, five recessive. All six recessive. This is how it is. Similarly, the same thing is applied for human height. Okay. <laughs> human height. Human height is also controlled by three dominant three genes. Okay, we'll stop here. Yeah. Any